Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. Audio animatronics are found in dozens of Disney rides across the theme parks, and we love animatronics. Many of these figures are extremely impressive, but with any sort of technical mechanics, things are bound to fail and go wrong. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know it's been quite some time since our last animatronic malfunction video. But we're back. We'll take a look at malfunctions featuring some very well-known animatronics while teaching you a little more about these robots as well as some of the plan B's Disney has in place. So today we're going to be counting down the top 10 Disney fails and animatronic malfunctions part 9. Number 10. A main character featured in Pirates of the Caribbean is the Auctioneer. He's an impressive audio animatronic, which we've shown on the channel before. Now since animatronics are such a key part of the attraction's storytelling, there are certain figures that when they malfunction, it causes the ride to shut down. The Auctioneer is supposed to be one of these key figures, but it doesn't seem like that's the case with this video from Disneyland that was sent in. Quit your clucking! The gentlemen want the rum! Don't ya boys! It's really interesting how his legs collapsed sideways, but then the rest of his upper body was moving like normal. This is probably a case of hydraulic pressure in his legs being lost, but it really just looks like he has a bad back. Now, if you are on a ride and see an animatronic malfunctioning, it never hurts to let a cast member know once you get off the ride so the issue can be looked after and they can return the animatronic to working order. Number 9. Staying at Disneyland, this next one brings us into the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout pre-show room with the Rocket Raccoon audio animatronic. Now sometimes when Rocket gets a bit fed up with the collector, he ends up taking a nap. I'm gonna blast that thing and destroy all the control systems which will open up every cage in this freak show and free my friends. And then we'll be on a merry way! Well in this specific case, all the guests were sent on their merry way out of the pre-show room once the cast members saw him malfunctioning. Now the rocket animatronic is a pretty vital component to setting up the story of the attraction. You wouldn't be able to have a complete experience without the pre-show, so Disney set up a plan B. When the rocket animatronic malfunctions and isn't operating, he appears on the screen instead of physically showing up in the room. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket. One of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, and look what I swipe! Now move it! A little clue to find out if you'll be seeing the rocket animatronic is spotting the Walkman in the display case. If you walk into the room and see it's missing, then you'll be getting Plan B. Number 8. The next malfunction brings us into the finale of the Grand Fiesta Tour in the Mexico Pavilion at Epcot. The three Caballeros animatronics were added to the ride in 2015, but sometimes when they take their big final bow at the end of their world tour, well, they have some issues getting back up. Now, these figures look lifeless, but if you pay close attention, you can still see that Panchito's foot and Jose's left hand and foot are still moving. It's so strange how these are the only moving parts, don't you think? Number 7. Splash Mountain is home to dozens of audio animatronics, and it seems like this ride in particular always has an animatronic that's malfunctioning. It's pretty rare that all the figures in the finale are working, and on a trip to Disneyland Splash Mountain back in September, the fox was busting a move and then busted his back.
The next day, we went back to see how Mr. Fox was doing, and they got him back up, but his mouth was the only thing that was moving. Now, as I was reviewing the footage, I noticed some other things, like the chicken on the third level wasn't moving as well, and one of the hens was missing right here. On another visit, the chicken that should be here was also missing. Now, it is common for Disney to remove one animatronic at a time to fix the figure, so it's actually not a bad thing when an animatronic is fully missing. Number 6 The Hondo Onaka animatronic is the pre-show of Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Without a working Hondo, you can't have the pre-show. Or can you? Well, when Galaxy's Edge was first in previews at Disney's Hollywood Studios, the Hondo animatronic was having some issues. He must have been malfunctioning, and as soon as guests walked into the pre-show room, Hondo was covered and disguised with what looked like a shipping container and a tarp. Much like with Plan B with the Mission Breakout pre-show, Smuggler's Run also has a Plan B where Hondo disappears on the screens to the right and left. Hey Hondo! The recruits are here! Hondo. 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 Are we all in? Good, good, good. For those who don't know me, I am Hondo Onaka, and welcome to my completely legitimate shipping company, Onaka Transport Solutions. It's definitely not as exciting as an animatronic, but it still provides the story points needed to fly the Falcon. <laughs> Number 5. Projections play a big part in the animatronics on Frozen Ever After at Epcot. As much as they look great when they work, you can get some pretty wacky and unsettling malfunctions, like Slot Machine Olaf. If you think that looks strange, well, get ready for Olaf Skellington. We just need to change the music and it's a completely different ride. Now speaking of music and sound, this next malfunction with Olaf is interesting. Usually when an animatronic malfunctions and freezes, their show audio still plays, which doesn't make much sense because if the character isn't alive with animation, then how could it be speaking? I actually think this is a great decision on Disney's part to cut the dialogue when the classic Frozen malfunction takes place. I mean, the only thing he's doing is blinking, and probably blinking for help. So don't worry, buddy. Someone's gonna come get ya. Number 4. The highlight of Navi River Journey in Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom is the Navi Shaman of Songs. She's a massive figure. The Shaman is the most advanced and complicated animatronic system Disney has developed to date. But when figures are this complex, issues are bound to arise. There's times when the Shaman malfunctions, and although it's yet to be caught on camera, Disney has a quick contingency plan in place. When they notice a problem with the animatronic, she's lowered into the ground for maintenance, and a screen is brought down to project a video of the Shaman. Disney tries to have as little downtime with this ride as possible, so this switchover happens pretty quick. The Shaman of Songs is the biggest wow moment in the ride, so it might be a bit of a letdown to not see her. But the way I see it is that B-Mode Shaman is better than no Shaman at all. It keeps her cousin company at Expedition Everest. Go Disco Yeti! Number 3 we're going back to the animatronics on Frozen Ever After. And like we saw with the Olaf projection malfunctions, well, Elsa has experienced her own problems and just can't seem to let it go. It looks weird seeing her without a face, but it isn't as unsettling as Olaf Skellington. Ooh. Now next to Olaf, Elsa seems like the animatronic that malfunctions the most on the ride. And although she's usually an extremely fluid figure, sometimes she gives Frozen a whole new meaning. Number 
Now, remember how we talked about Disney having contingency plans? Well, there's one set in place that if the ride itself breaks down and malfunctions, leaving you stuck in front of Elsa, she'll finish singing Let It Go, then in true Disney fashion, she stays animated waving to guests in the boat. It's pretty clever, isn't it? It's just like any Disney character would do in a show or parade breakdown. Number 2 This next one takes us into Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters at Disneyland. Now on this list, a common malfunction we've seen are static animatronics. Just like how Buzz is here. Well, back in June of 2018, a malfunction similar to Ursula losing her head happened to Buzz Lightyear, and instead of his head, it was his hand. Stamp is detecting more trouble in Sector 9. No doubt it's the work of that nefarious crew, the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, the evil Emperor Zerg. Without themselves, we'll all be powerless and at the mercy of Zerg. Now this must have just been an issue with a couple screws coming loose that hold his hand in place, since all his fingers are still functioning like normal. Around Buzz Lightyear you'll see this rod, and in a case with a malfunction like this, they would put a curtain around the animatronic to block it from the queue while maintenance repairs the figure. Number 1 For this last one, we're gonna literally shake things up as we head on Spaceship Earth at Epcot. Now this ride is filled with dozens of audio animatronics, and they go from looking like this, to malfunctioning like this. I mean, that's a pretty violent shake. We need to see that one again. Even the lab worker, he's leisurely going about his daily business and then sips a little too much coffee and then ends up all like... Even King Triton on the Little Mermaid ride seems to have the case of the shakes as well. <laughs> <laughs> now what I've realized in all three of these malfunctions is that all the figures are limited motion animatronics. They aren't advanced A100 figures. But I feel like the shaking issue has something to do with the compliance software failing. Compliance was something that was developed by Disney that acts as a shock absorber and alleviates pressure during the animatronic movement. That, mixed with issues in the hydraulic pressure with the actuators and valves, could definitely cause this malfunction. I mean, either way, this is quite the sight. So have you ever experienced an animatronic fail or malfunction while on a Disney ride? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!